my word i look like a mess i'm so sorry guys i'm gonna look like a hobo in this video but enjoy hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a collective haul video of things that i've just had over about two months now they've just been kind of sitting in my closet still with the tags on them some stuff I did wear just because I couldn't wait, but most of the things I did wait to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get right in because we have a lot of stuff for me to show you. Um, I have all the price tags for most of the items. Some of the things I do not, but I will guesstimate on the price that I paid for them because I kind of remember them fairly correctly, but I might be a little off. But I'm just going to kind of say the average of what I thought they were. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So... The first thing I got, or I'm picking up out of my pile, because I just have a bunch of piles right here, is just this brown shirt, and it looks like this. I got it from Plato's Closet. It's kind of weird to show, like, on camera, but you just kind of, like, put it on like a vest. You wear it like this, and it zips up in the back and has just a gold zipper on the back. God, I'm terrible at showing details. I'm so sorry. It just has a gold zipper. This was $6. It was a size small, and the brand is actually scratched out. I'm not sure why. I guess they just did that because they've had it for a while, maybe. But it was super cute, and I really liked this. So this was one of the first items I did pick up. The second item I picked up was actually from a place called Burke's Outlet. I got this, I remember for a fact, $9. I don't have the price tag on it because I've worn it a bunch, but I did get it for $9. It's just this nice big like hoodie. It's not big. I actually got it in a size large. Oh wow, it is big. That's why. Okay, cool. So it's a size large. I thought it was a size small. It was on a size small hanger. So I don't know, but that explains why it fits so big. But I love how it fits. It's so soft. It has fur all through the sleeves. And when the zipper goes down, it just has this like tribal print on the inside. And when you zip it up, it's just this pretty gold zipper on this beautiful like burgundy pink color and i just really like this and this has like padding in it too super soft got it for a great price i loved it the, another item i got this is a size large it was five dollars and i also got it from plato's closet it's just this striped t-shirt i love t-shirts i'm wearing one right now just with some biker shorts that's literally my style half the time i'm a super lazy dresser sometimes i like to dress up for the most part i love just wearing t-shirts so i just love these colors it's just this gray and light blue and gray and blues are actually a few of my favorite colors and i just loved how this fit so i got it for five dollars the next item was a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't really wear a lot of things like this, but it was only, I know the price tag is still on it because I haven't worn it. This was a size medium. It's from Hollister. Um, it was only, I think, $8. It looks like it says 3 but I believe it's just blurred out, and it does say 8 It definitely looks like 3 on the camera, but I think it was $8. It's just this tank top. That's maroon, and it has these little, like, dangleys right here. And they're super loud. I don't know how I feel about that, but I just thought it'd be cute with, like, some light wash jeans and just some, like, brown booties or something just to go out. I don't know. I got something out of my comfort zone, but that's okay. The next item is very in my comfort zone. It's a t-shirt, and it's striped, and I love stripes, guys. I love it. I love black and white stripes. They're my favorite, and I love it. Just the smallness of the stripes. It just looks, I don't know, I just really like it. This is an extra small. I did already wear it. Um, I have the price tag for it. It was $4 for this one. This is the, It's from Gap. So it was $4 for this shirt, so that's a pretty good deal. So the next item I got is another striped shirt, of course, because I love stripes, but this one was super cute. It's just a little kind of like off the half off the shoulder crop top. It's long sleeve, and of course, it's black and white stripe, like I love. This is a medium, and I believe I got it for this one. I do not actually have the price tag for, and I do not remember the price of this one. It probably ranged from like six to eight dollars, I assume, just because of like the style of it. So it's probably what I paid for it. But I love that shirt. I've already worn it quite a lot. 
Um, this one I got from Plato's Closet as well. This was $4, and it's a size medium. It's from Charlotte Russe. It just looks like this. It's just a plain tank top, and it's burgundy, and I just love this color on me. Super cute and simple. The next item I got was in a size large, and this was... I actually do not have the price tag for this one either. Oh, yes, I do. I totally lied. This shirt was $3. This is also from Charlotte Russe. And like I said, it's in a large. It just looks like this. It's white and has this little cutout. So if you have, like, cleavage, it definitely would look good. I'm definitely a part of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee. But it's still super cute for a large. It actually fit me pretty well. It wasn't too, like, cropped, too long or anything. I thought it would just be super cute with some jeans, boots, vans, whatever. Super cute. The next shirt I got was just this shirt. I got this from Charlotte Russe. This was an extra small. It was on sale for $4.99. They are going out of business. So everything was like 60% something off. And I actually do have the receipt. So I actually can tell you the full price I got for it. It was, I got it for $2.98. So it was for $4.99 and it went all the way down to $2.98. It's just this long sleeve white t-shirt. Super plain, super me love it the next shirt i got is just this shirt from burke's outlet as well the this was 3.99 it is in a size small and it's just this pink salmony tank top it's super cute super plain thought it'd be super cute for summertime wear with some white jeans and some like gray heels or something the next shirt i got i got from plato's closet this was $9. It's a size small. And it's this just the sweater tank top that looks like this. It's olive green, which I love how olive green looks on me. I thought this would just be super cute with some like black shorts or black ripped jeans with just some like thigh high boots or something. Maybe with like a jean jacket. I have no idea even what I'm saying, but that's how I would wear it. But it's just super cute. Really thin thick sweater material i really like it the next item i got ironically is a jean jacket this one is cool because you can actually remove the hood so if you want it just jean you can have it just the jean but the sleeves are my favorite part they're so thick and soft i love it i got it from burke's outlet it feels like a sweatshirt inside and the jacket just looks like this if i can actually get it to stand up straight the jacket just looks like this, has some pockets, buttons. I got it in a size medium. It fits super well, super cute just to like throw over if you want, wear with some vans, some heels, boots, and it keeps you super, super warm. And I just, like I said, I just love how thick this was. I did pay like, I did pay $19.99 for this one. Like I said, it was from Burke's Outlet, but it was definitely worth it. And I really like this jacket. The next item I got was another jacket, also from Burke's Outlet. I've been wanting, like, a long army green jacket that has that band or singe or tie right in the middle that makes your waist look, like, really good hourglass figure with, like, some combat boots. I just, like, love that, loved that look. I see people walk in where I work all the time with it, and it just looks super cute. So I found one at Burke's Outlet, and I bought it for myself. I really did. I bought it for... I believe, let me see, the tag is even still on it. I guess the tag is not on it. I think I also paid $19.99 for this one. And it's just this long army green jacket. It singes and it has a hood. I'm a sucker for hoods. I love it. It buttons up. It has this and it also ties in the hood too. So it singes in the hood and at the waist. And I really like this. I'm really super excited to wear it. This I got from Plato's Closet. I literally paid $3 for it. I don't even know why I bought it really. It's just, it was gray. So I think that's why I grabbed it. And then it's just a tank top. It would just be super cute to wear with some like, even this biker shorts just to go walk on like a nature trail, go to the gym, do yoga in, just with like a sports bra. It's just super simple and it was really cheap. So I really liked it. The next item I got, unfortunately, is too big for me. Um, it's from Charlotte Russe. 
it was eleven ninety nine. I believe I got it for like four dollars since they were going out of business. So I'm not too upset about it. Maybe I'll give it away or just give it to one of my friends or sell it or something. But it's just this simple black bodysuit. And it's in an extra small. And I'm really sad it doesn't fit me because I really do like it. But that's okay. No need to fret. This I got from Berg's Outlet for $4.99. And in a size small, I just love black, gray, and white. And it's literally just a black tank top. Like, I could just wear this up, down, just anything. I just really like it. The next item I got was a dress, which... I don't wear a lot of dresses, but I bought one just because it was $11.99, dropped down to $4.90 something because it was from Charlotte Russe. I got it in an extra small, and it's just this sweater, like long sleeve gray dress. And it actually fits me pretty well. It kind of just like goes off the shoulder, just kind of like this. It looks super cute, and I'm like, I would pair this with like some thigh high boots or like even some heels, like some silver heels. Or something like the silver heels you saw in my heel collection video. Um, I would wear it with that. I think it would look super cute in the winter to go to the club or something. I don't know. Wear it however you want. Um, so the next thing I got was I got two pairs of undies from Charlotte Ruse. I don't care to show my underwear just because it's just underwear. And I'm going to be showing a bunch of bikinis here in a minute. So these were three fifty. So I got them for like $0.80 cents because it was... Like I said, a bunch of things. And they kind of reminded me of, like, oddly, like, granny panties. I don't know, but, like, sexy granny panties. I don't know. I just liked them. I liked the color. I liked the lace. I liked the singe in the butt. And I thought they were just super cute. And then I got these orange ones. It just say main squeeze on it. The little lemon. It says thong just for their yoga. And I love yoga just because... They are super soft and I also got my roommate a pair of orange undies that were super cute just because orange is super awesome like in the summer when you have a tan and I don't know I just wanted to get her something so I did and I got her one of those. So the next item I got was some navy joggas. I got these from Burke's Outlet and these are $12.99. They just look like this, and they are the softest joggers, y'all. Softest joggers. They're just navy, look like this. Just any cotton joggers. I have five billion. I really didn't need to buy them, but I did. These I got from Charlotte Russe. They were $8.99 on sale for $3.50 because they were closing down. They are just some simple black leggings because I'm a simple bitch. Next is Plato's Closet again. I got some Abercrombie shorts where actually I bought these just because they were in really good condition. And I thought they were just kind of like nicer shorts. Like I know they're short shorts and short shorts technically aren't nice. But when it's like hot outside they were just a not like all rippy, holy. They were bigger on me. So like they covered my butt. These were... Only $12 in a size zero, and I just really like the color of them. The next thing I got from Plato's, I have worn tons and tons and tons and tons of. I do have the price of them. They were $18. They were Abercrombie black jeans. They just look like this. They have some slits and holes. Super cute. And I really like these jeans. Really. I've worn them a lot. These are universal thread i've never heard of this company but i just thought they were really cute jeans and um, they just look like this they have like holes in the legs and they actually cuff but they are sewn so the cuff does not come undone and i actually like that about these so they were just a light wash nothing on the butt and both of the knees were cut out just super cute i just really like these these were, these do not have the price tag because I did wear these, but these were only actually $12. These were $8, and these are definitely Hoochie Mama shorts. I bought them because I like to wear shorts around my house, and if I want to wear Hoochie Mama shorts, I can because I am only 5'2". I'm super tiny. I don't weigh a lot. I'm only 90 pounds, so these don't fit me like Hoochie Mama shorts, actually, but I call them Hoochie Mama shorts just because they're shorter on me. But they're just these hollows through shorts. They, I also thought they were in really fairly good condition. They were super stretchy, and I just really liked them a lot. 
These are a size zero, and like I said, they were only eight dollars. The next pair of pants I got from Plato's was a pair of polyester jeans. I love these. These were also eighteen dollars. They are just have a bunch of rips in them, and they're super skinny, they're jegging, super stretchy, and I love these. And like, I thought they would look super cute, like with this shirt that I got, like this with some like brown booties or something. Like I thought that would just be like a good color combo, even with like a jean jacket or just like a leather jacket. I don't know. I thought it was cute, so deal with me. The next thing I got, um, from Plato's Closet was just this gray crappie shirt goes off the shoulder. This was four dollars I already wore but the tag is right there and I really like this. It's super soft The next thing I got I also actually got for my roommate so we can twin um, were just these just like baggy jogger yoga type pants I really love these. I got these for $10 from Charlotte Ruse. They were originally $24. I got them for $10. And that's why I got my roommate a pair as well, just so we could match. And I have already worn these, and I'm absolutely, like, in love with these. The next item thing I got, I actually ordered online from Fashion Nova. Um, this was my first time actually ordering for Fashion Nova. I got a few swimsuits, and I got some dresses. Sadly, the swimsuit bottoms did not fit me at all because like I said I'm actually really tiny so I was super sad about that but the tops fit me great and actually this dress fit me great I got this dress for a wedding but I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear it yet or not it was only 19 bucks so that's why I went and got it it just looks like this it looks so ugly on camera omg but it just looks like this it has padding right here so you don't have to wear a bra but it just singes there and then also singes on the side and in the back it just has these straps so that makes your body figure just look super cute it actually looks super good on i love the color god it just made i made it look so bad on camera i wish i could make it like look better for you guys it's just god i'm making myself look like an idiot whatever I'm a mess, guys. Deal with it. But this dress actually fit me very well, and I liked it a lot. So the next things I got from Fashion Nova were some swimsuits. Um, these all range from 6 to $9. I don't have the price tags with me, and I could not find them on my app for some reason, and I have no idea why. But they did range from 8 to nine, or 6 to $9 just because I did get the ones that were on sale. So I'm going to go ahead and show you those. So the first set I got was just this red one, which this top fit me phenomen phenomenally. God, I cannot speak. And it just looks like this. It's just red and has some white, like, lining. It's just a tie triangle. And then these are the bottoms for it. It originally came with, like, an extra strap that went up, like, around your um, hip area. But I cut it because it was way too big for me. Um... Once I hit the gym and get a boot, get some cake instead of a pancake for a butt, I will probably fit in all these bottoms. So I am going to keep them in hopes that I will fit in them one day because they are really cute. But these are what the bottoms look like. They're just these like normal swimsuit bottoms. Very high rise. Um, they are kind of thongy. They're very cheeky so your butt does show, which I'm a little shy about that. But like I said, once... I get a bun, hit the gym and stuff, maybe I'll actually like it. But the top, I really do love. And I could just wear it with some white bottoms or something. The second swimsuit I ordered was this one, which I loved. And I was so disappointed about the bottoms because they were, like, this close to fitting me. These were actually the best fitting bottoms. So I will probably make it work if I just want to do, like, a photo shoot or something. But the bottoms just look like this. And they are, like I said, they are high rise as well. And they are cheeky. And then the top is just this bandeau. And I could even just see myself, like, wearing this just, like, out with some, like, shorts or something to the beach if I wasn't getting in the water. I really like this swimsuit. This swimsuit I actually did pay a little bit of extra for. It was, like, $12.95 or something. But it wasn't that much of a difference. 
But the next swimsuit I got was just this one. These bottoms were way too big and I was so sad because I've been needing just a pair of like plain white bottoms. But I just ordered some up of eBay. So hopefully when those come in, those will fit. And if those fit, then I'll be able to wear like half the swimsuits I have that I don't have bottoms for. But these were the bottoms that it came with. They're just the normal zaffle like bottoms you see every girl usually have. Just the up high cheeky ones they didn't fit at all the top fit amazing and actually it was super cute i think it would be cute with black bottoms so i'm really not too mad about it but it just looks like this it's like this brown and white or gold and white i don't know like color wood looking and it was just super cute it honestly would be really cute even for a shirt if i really wanted to be that tacky and extra like i am i would wear this as a shirt just with some like mom shorts or just some like black high-waisted ripped jeans or something i don't know maybe with a jacket who knows how we'll wear that we'll figure that out later here is the i don't even know what number bathing suit that i ordered from zaffle but it just looks like this it's so beautiful looks like it just has like these little flowers on it it ties which is actually kind of cool for a bandeau top so i can tie it and make it fit me and then sadly these bottoms were way too big for me they are thong but they look like this and these were the bottoms that came with it if i just had some like white bottoms or gray bottoms or even these like pink color i think it would look good with it maybe even black would match it i don't know but i will be wearing this somehow because i love but the last swimsuit i ordered from zaffle was just this olive green one that looks like this it ties in the middle um it actually goes like crisscross or it doesn't go crisscross it just goes like this and then ties so it's like a tank top and then ties and then these were the bottoms for it these fit me like this close as well so maybe if i gain some pounds and grow a little bit i can wear these bottoms too oh my god i can just not find it but here we go here are the bottoms they're not as like high rise as the other ones um they're kind of just like normal swimsuit they are cheeky so maybe one day they'll fit me because it is super cute and i really want to wear them so the next swimsuit i got was target i love target here are the bottoms they're just these navy swimsuit bottoms and they have some crochet i don't even know if crochet is the right word if it is then i been good for me if it's not i'm sorry i don't know english but it just has this little scrunch in the butt to make it look cute and then this is just the top it's just like a tank top top as well and then it snaps in the back and the top was 17.99 and the bottoms were 14.99 the reason why i have so many swimsuits by the way is because me and one of my best friends are going on a cruise next year after she graduates from school which yay for her i'm so excited shout out to her so i got some swimsuits just to wear because none of my swimsuits fit me because like i said i'm super small and i'm really insecure when i get into swimsuits so i was trying to find some that made me just feel a little bit better about myself so that's why i have so many swimsuits and talking about my friend she actually gave me these bottoms which i have out just because um she ordered a swimsuit off of ebay and it was too small for her so she donated it to me and these were the bottoms for it they are from victoria's secret and they're so cute they fit me so well but the top was way too big for me because she's got some like pretty big boobies and i have small boobies so i did go and i just bought a plain um black stringy top for it just to wear with it so i could get a good tan line in it this was 14.99 from target so i did buy this to go together i also bought this one thinking it was gonna match because of like the gold rimming on it but it actually didn't match at all but it's okay because i have a pair of all black swim bottoms that i could wear with this and it's actually still super cute it's just this black swimsuit that i got from play-dohs it's gold and i got it for four dollars so i wasn't too upset that it didn't match this because it will match black bottoms but we did get this to match and i want to shout her out for giving me all her cute stuff when she doesn't want it because she is the cutest shopper and i love wearing her things so i'm excited next from play-doh's closet i got this top which just kind of was just really cute blue i just loved it it comes with the strap 
it was three dollars which is like why not for three dollars i just thought it was like looks like seashell kind of i don't even know i'm like trying it on over my shirt what's wrong with me but then i also i kind of got it to match these bottoms like i know they're not the same blue but like off like i, I don't I have no idea. I will probably end up wearing these, the black, um, the black swimsuit top that I bought to match the bottoms that she got me because I also got these. These were $3 and these are like a thong bikini, but girl, let me tell you, I love the color and the cheetah print and for $3, I was digging it and they are also reversible and I know they look dirty, but it wasn't. It's just from the sticky that was in it. I ripped it out to try it on, but they're reversible so they can go all black. But I love these. These were $3. Like I said, I got these to go together, but they don't really match. So I probably will just end up wearing these with just like black bottoms or just unversing these and wearing it with like this and just like peeking the blue or just wear these with a black top and these with the black bottoms. Who knows how we'll wear those. But anyways, the next top we got was $4. It's extra small. And it just looks like this. This is just, I believe actually this is crochet. This little like material, but it just looks like this. It's just a triangle bikini top. And I thought it would look super cute if I got some bottoms to match it that were like this color, like this coral color, which I actually have in my closet. So I'm hoping it'll match. I honestly haven't even tested it yet, but if it doesn't match, I also have bottoms um, this color, which I have right next to me just so I could show y'all that will match this swimsuit that I thought would look super cute and these are also from Victoria's Secret these are not these are not new these are old they just scrunch in the butt and I just thought it would be really cute with this blue pop in that looks really good on camera I'm so glad I got it so the next top I got or the next two swimsuits I got I actually gonna show these all together because I got one bottom for all all three of these tops so I just got these black bottoms that crochet in the back or not crochet I don't know why I keep saying that I'm so sorry but I got them that scrunch in the back these were $14.99 these were from Target and these look so good you can wear these like up on your hip you can wear them low rise however you want I really really like these and these were the black bottoms I was saying that I could wear with any of those tops if nothing matches so if you are in like last resort black does match everything so just grab some black or white bottoms and like you'll be good to go so the tops i got to match for them was just this strapless like diamondy beautiful these are like rose gold you can't really tell but it just like snaps in the back and this was 32.99 and it has like a little bra inside so it actually holds your boobs pretty well and then it comes with um straps so if you want to strap it up okay so the next swimsuit top i got from target was 17.99 and it just looks like this plaid black and white it looks like this plaid it is plaid black and white um tank tank top looking swimsuit it has a little bow in the front it locks in the back it's super cute the straps are adjustable i love this swimsuit top if it's super good and it looks cute with white or black bottoms and i also think if you just got plain red bottoms it would look really cute with it i don't know why that's just me or even navy but Everybody tells me navy and black don't go together, but I feel like it would look cute with this swimsuit. So that's my opinion. The next swimsuit top I got is just this um, navy swimsuit top. It just looks like this. I'm so I apologize, I have hiccups. Um, but it just ties around the top and then goes around your waist like this and has like holes right here. And I actually ordered some white swimsuit bottoms. They should be coming in. And I, cause I think white would look really good with the navy. I think those are super cute summer colors. I got this from Target and it was $19.99. The last swimsuit top I got and the last item in this haul video is just this black bandeau swimsuit top. It just looks like this, has a V cut and it is $17.99. It has a gold little clip in the back and then it also comes with straps to match like the gold and you can adjust the straps around your neck um, to how it fits. I like, I love, love, love this swimsuit top. It actually looks super cute with those black bottoms I showed you. 
But that is actually all the items in this haul for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for clicking on my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe and show some love. Um, there was a couple of items that were in this haul that I did buy. There was a couple of jeans and I think a shirt, maybe two. I may be completely wrong, but I know there are two pairs of jeans for sure that were in this haul because they're actually being washed because I already wore them. But my next haul video will be my collective shoe and beauty supply or beauty makeup, I guess to say, haul. And so I will throw those jeans and any clothing items I miss from this video in that haul in the beginning, just so you guys can see them. So I can't wait to post that video. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for clicking and showing love. You guys have a great day and I hope to be seeing you again. Bye.